right, so this comes with a couple things that you need to do to just get the machine rolling. They give you this little nifty chart here that just explains to you uh, maintenance, things you need to do daily, weekly, monthly, as needed. So one of the things you have to do every single time that you turn this machine on is shake white ink cartridges. Let me show you where they are. If it will focus, come to this side of the machine. Open that up. These actually are the small white ink cartridges. And you should give them a good shake. I think they say shake them for about 15 seconds or so. Just to make sure that they're in good shape. Shake, shake, shake. Shake it up, shake it up. Kids Custom Designs, we got fabric. We got everything you need to start your business. Mermaid Vinyl will be on the site soon, so stay tuned for that. I'm still shaking. Still shaking. Take the next one out, shake it up. There's not a lot left in this one, I can tell already. We are expecting another delivery on Monday, so hopefully it gets here soon. After you're done, Pop it back into place, hear that little snap, and you know you're good to go. Close up the door. Tell you up here, please wait. Okay, we shook that up. And from there, I think it's gonna run a little bit more and calibrate itself. All right, so 15 minutes, and it'll be done. Ready to use it. So also with the DTG, there's another thing that they do suggest, heat presses. So hopefully we'll be in a position to buy another one soon if this business goes well. Um, but one thing that apparently you have to have it on that's a little different from what we usually do with embroidery is that it has to be on 350 degrees. And when you press the shirt, it needs to be at about a zero pressure, if you guys can see that. Um, and then you want to keep the the press on it for about 35 to 40 or so seconds just to make sure that the design is uh, good to go um, so more to come with that haven't done too much uh, did do this one for a friend of mine his company uh, it's on a gilded shirt so it's not the best but we do have some better shirts coming soon so I'll make sure to keep you guys updated on that again that all comes when comes in on Monday so hopefully uh, it'll be here and we can get some designs done oh hey everybody so, if you haven't figured it out by now, I have taken over Angela's vlog forever. You'll never see her again. She's locked in the basement. I'm just kidding. I'm in the basement and she's not here. So, corny jokes out of the way. Um, I think most of you know who I am by now. I'm Keenan, her lovely husband that she adores so much. Um, but we just got a DTG, which I'm super excited about. And I think that uh, a cool thing to do would be to start kind of a video series where I can go on uh, Facebook Marketplace, Instagram, and pretty much start a DTG business from scratch and show you guys the process, what I'm doing, how difficult or easy it is, um, and see if a DTG is something you would like to start your business with. I, I know that a DTG is, uh, it's not controversial, but it has a lot of uh, opinions about is it worth it, is it not worth it, so I got it and we'll see it you know we'll see the good the bad the cost um you know and and you'll see at the end of it if it's something you want to incorporate in your business so um just kind of working on a couple shirts learning the machine figuring out how to do it before i actually start the business i don't want to just jump into it and not to say i'm going to have a ton of orders especially off the bat but i want to at least understand the machine and um the settings and get all that stuff together first so Getting into that, uh, I did make a couple shirts. I can show you one now. Come with me. Got something stuck to my foot. Yes, Angela and the babies are asleep. Just if you're wondering where they are. So I think I showed this earlier, but this is one shirt that I did for a friend of mine. Um, and I'm actually going to try and make Miss Riley one of these shirts. Um, using one of the AJ blanks So we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna pull out her size now and we'll see if I can get uh, the design done on it Okay, I am in the software now and I must warn you. I am NOT a pro at this 
by any stretch of the imagination. I am learning. Like I said, I, I, the goal with this is to hopefully uh, show you that it can be done um, and then also to see if it's something that uh, you want to incorporate in your business. So I'm learning right along with uh, everyone else or anyone else that may have just gotten a F2100. So this is a PNG here that I just found on Google. Just type in Ladybug PNG. So we're going to go ahead and save this image. Save it as a ladybug. Might already have it saved here. Let me see. Okay, so I already do. Um, so since that is saved, you can go ahead and open up Garment Creator. I actually did this for my little cousin. He wanted a uh, little rap album cover, so he got it. And and here already has a printer connected to it. So you would just come in, go to open. Here's the design here, and let's see if it pulls up without anything in the back. All right. So there is the miraculous ladybug. Looks like she's coming through decently. Um, there's also a couple things you can do in Photoshop to make this a little bit more appealing, um, but I'm starting to get into it, so I haven't really learned. I have it on uh, level four quality, quality at the highest. Still playing around with these settings, so you know, we'll kind of see which one is going to be best as I do different shirts, different quality shirts. Um, and that is it. All right, so I'm outside of the craft room now. Got everything loaded up. Now all I have to do is hit this blue button right here that says print right there. And it should send it over to the printer. And I'll be able to get this, get this design on the shirt. It looks like it has it. Let's see if the DTG picked it up. If it does, something will pop up on the screen here. Uh, with the image name let's see if we got it all right so it looks like we're good place shirt in the middle for printing so we'll see how it goes got riley size here size six a little big but works for her and this is good quality so um we're gonna see how this holds up as far as the dtg aj blanks i think it's gonna hold up really well which is uh good for us because if we plan on using this at all for uh dtg um, at least we don't have, you know, thin, flimsy shirts. We can use great quality children's blanks, which is what we already are used to. So let's go ahead and get this shirt ready. Got to put this on the heat press. Let that press down. And once that's done, we'll go ahead and get it on DTG. shirt is nice and pressed so we'll go ahead and thread this on a DTG see how we do Again, I am a beginner in every sense of the word. I'm sure it doesn't usually take 20 minutes to thread this, but uh, like I said, I'm new to it, so I'm learning. So let's see if it works. All right, once you're ready to print, you just hit the blue button right here and it'll go through the print. And here is the finished result. Again, it is not perfect, has some imperfections, and I know there's a way you can remove the border, um, but again, I am not a professional, not a professional Photoshop, so I got some work to do. Um, but again, just kind of shows you what this machine can do. 
So let's go ahead and get it on the heat press. This is wet ink, so you do want to be careful as you place it. You don't want to get it anywhere else on the shirt or near anything else. So after two minutes, we'll go ahead and take it off. Um, heat press it for good, and then we'll have a good, nice, crisp shirt from Miss Riley. Um, that she can wear she'll be very happy with this regardless of the imperfections that's why i made it just for her um, but again it does show you the value of a printer like this if you have a business in mind if you have something that you want to do um, it can make these shirts quickly i'm going to say from start to finish to do that shirt it took maybe a minute and a half to two minutes uh, it was not very long at all so um, came out decent like i said i do have work to do i am not a, pro a professional a pro nor do I claim to be one. Um, hopefully one day I will be, but you know, we'll, we'll see. Um, but again, look pretty good. So we'll see the finished product. All right. Okay, here is the final product. I think it looks okay. Like I said, got some work to do. Not a, perf a perfect project here, but um, you know, hopefully in the future we'll be able to get something really nice. But it did come out very good on the AJ Blank, so at least we know that uh, it can do DTG printing as well as embroidery. So here we go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Hey guys, I know I wasn't in this video like at all. Um, he recorded his own video. It's totally fine by me. So we just got our ink. So today's Monday. I think that he recorded that on Saturday night maybe. Um, so we got our ink in. The DTG, the Epson F2100, comes with the starter ink. So like smaller ink, trial ink, I guess. <laughs> you know when you get a printer and the ink is like the small, it's pretty much empty ink. Yeah, that type of thing. So... Make sure you order ink when you order your Epson. So we have ink and then we have our uh, craft paper sheets and everything that we need now. <laughs> we didn't have everything. I think we also got the child platen, the seven by eight uh, platen so for the kids shirts, um, because that's a necessity. We realized you can't really do them on the big platen, so we have the smaller platen. So I'm gonna go ahead and open everything here for you guys so you guys can see what we got. Can they see? Can you see? It's not a live chat, so I guess <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's not a live chat. So we do have our pre-treatment machine. It is in the garage still waiting for my father-in-law, his daddy, to come and uh, help us move it down here. So we have not even opened it out the carton. It reminds me of Madagascar, you know, when the carton is, the, the animals are in, like, the carton. You know what I'm talking about if you watch Madagascar. When the allocate gets shipped to New York City. Yes. So, okay, here we got four bottles of pre-treatment machine pre-treatment machine wow pre-treatment tprt universal concentration dark bright poly blended garment so we have four of those okay we got four of these Ooh. and here is our craft papers and for these um I do know that you use them, you can use them more than once. Once you get a piece of ink on them, then uh, don't use it again because it'll get on your other shirt. I know you can barely see my face. So we got that. I'm letting him open everything. Can, you even see? can they see it? See what? <laughs> Is the angles in it? Is it good enough? I got wrinkles now. Guys, can you believe my husband told me I'm too old for TikTok? Still on that. Yes, I'm still on that. It'll, it'll be banned in a couple days anyway. So. Shut up. I'm glad when that's gone. He's over here using kid scissors. First, we have white. Oh man, this is a lot bigger than the other ones. Yes. Here's the white ink. So the other inks were like up to here. The, the starter inks. They were like empty. So we got white, cyan. Is that all ink? Yeah. Yellow. That's it? No. Oh. Magenta. An air filter. 
Epson. Epson pre-treatment. Oh, Epson Sure Color pre-treatment fluid. So which one am I supposed to use? This two. Okay. Black. Black. And then head cleaning set. A head cleaning set. Beans. Awesome. And this is all white. White. So we got four whites. One cyan yellow magenta black. So this is what we have. This is what we got here. So now I don't, I don't know which one to use. I mean, I guess I'll use the Epson. Epson. Yeah, it's sold by, by Epson. So, okay. Okay, so we installed the ink and it's like uh, charging. I guess charging the ink because it's new ink. The Lord said that that's what it's doing, but it's installing the new ink. So it has four, about four minutes left. Um, I feel like you should have just put all the brand new inks in because I feel like the other inks are probably going to run out soon. They will do this all over again, but it's cool. My mom has do what he wants. It's cool. But yeah, so that is it for this video with my husband and if you want to see more of his videos with the DTG, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up i'd really appreciate it and i need to go finish my other video that i was doing earlier today which you guys will see after this video goes up so like probably tomorrow so yeah so thank you guys so much for watching my husband's video and make sure to hit the subscribe button and the uh, bell button so that way you are notified every single time him or i at this point uploading video all right guys bye